Good morning. A man charged over the attempted rape of a woman at a bus stop in Sydney's north last night was on parole for the 1990 murder of a teenage girl. Officers chased the 46-year-old for two blocks before using a taser and capsicum spray to arrest him. Hugh Whitfield has the details. Good morning, Anne. This is the bus stop in the well-to-do Sydney suburb of Hunters Hill, and it's where police say a frightening series of events unfolded last night. It all began just after 6 o'clock when a 30-year-old woman was waiting for a bus. Police say that a 46-year-old man approached her and tried to start talking to her before things turned really ugly. It's alleged that he grabbed her, tried to undress her, punched her several times and then tried to rape her. As she screamed for help, he then pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed her. Now, fortunately, someone driving past managed to see this and call police, and when they got here, the man was still here. It's when police say he then turned on them, assaulting a probationary constable. These incidents have shocked residents around here who admit that they are not used to this kind of crime in their neighbourhood. So creepy, especially given like walking around the area all the time, like morning and night. Kind of had a, l a lot of trust in people in the area. It's quite a family area. Horrified. <laughs> Horrified something that happened in this area like that, particularly on a, a street that's so busy. Well, it was very unusual. You know, it's never happened before. You know, it's Hunter's Hill. It's supposed to be a friendly, happy suburb. The injured police officer suffered a split lip. He received treatment at hospital last night and has since been released. He's expected to return to work in the coming days. The 30-year-old woman, though, remains in Royal North Shore Hospital where she's receiving treatment for her injuries. The 46-year-old arrested man is facing court today. And Thanks, Hugh.